Identifying trees can be pretty challenging in winter, but all trees have at least one particular characteristic that enables you to positively identify them in all seasons, even winter. So in this video, we're going to look at four of the easiest common trees to identify in winter and what to look for. We're going to cover birch trees, oak trees, beech trees, and maples. So come along into the winter woods and let's identify some trees today. One of the most well-recognized and identifiable trees in winter is the birch tree. There's a lot of different species of birch, but they're really well known for having extremely eye-catching bark that stands out as being quite colorful in comparison to the other trees in the forest. It's often most easily noticed when it's white, as in the case of the white birch or the paper birch, but it can also be silver or gold, like a yellow birch. And in a lot of species, especially as they get older, the bark becomes very peely. For a lot of people, including myself, this is the first tree that you really learn how to confidently identify and feel like you really know. And this eye-catching bark, of course, is easy to see even in winter when the leaves are all off the trees. It is important, however, to not just rely on bark because some birches like gray birch have less obvious bark and young birches also have bark that looks very different than the older ones. And so a lesser known identification clue that a lot of people don't know about is that birches have these little horizontal lines that can be seen and they do change as the tree ages, but they're present in both the adult trees and in the young trees. So if you look for those horizontal lines in combination with very eye-catching kind of bark that can either be sort of smooth with these little horizontal lines or peeling off in layers of bark. Birches will also sometimes have catkins that stay on them through the winter. And so this, in addition to the peely bark and the horizontal lines can be a good clue to look for. Another tree that you might be familiar with is the oak tree. Now, oak trees on the surface seem like they would be a lot harder to identify than birch trees. But actually, I would consider oak trees to be one of the easiest trees to identify in winter because it's extremely common for oaks to retain their leaves during the winter. And it's not necessarily that they will keep all their leaves on, although sometimes you will come across an oak tree that seems to just really want to hold on to its leaves deep into the winter. A lot of times, there's just a few leaves here and there left on the tree. If you weren't looking for these brown, dried up leaves to be left on the tree in winter, you could very easily walk by and not see them there. But if you know to look for this, this is a great way for beginners to identify oak trees in winter. Oak leaves are very distinctive even when they're brown and you really only need to see one attached to the tree in order to identify the tree. The main thing to remember with this trick is remember to look high up in the tree. Sometimes with the trees when they're full grown there will just be a few leaves up in the canopy that are still remaining on the tree. So you might need to have binoculars just to look at them to see and confirm that it is oak leaves that you're seeing up there but this is a really great way to identify oak trees in winter. Beech trees are less well known than oak trees and birch trees, but I still consider them one of the best trees to start with for beginners because they are actually quite common. And they also have that same tendency as the oak trees to keep their leaves on all winter long. In fact, in beech trees, it's even stronger than oak trees. They tend to keep a lot more of their leaves and they keep them for longer. One of the main reasons that beech trees are less well known than oaks is that their leaves are a little bit less distinct. They're more of a traditional leaf shape with very prominent parallel veining patterns that go out to sharp little points at the edge, a sort of oval shaped toothing structure that comes to a point at the tip. They make this beautiful rustling sound in the winter winds that really stands out in the forest because all the other trees have no leaves on them. The other thing that's notable about beech trees is their buds. Compared to other types of trees, beech buds are very long and they have a distinctive orange color to them that makes them really stand out as well. So leaves staying on through the winter and these very distinctive buds makes beech trees one of the easiest trees in the forest to identify. Another very common tree is the maple tree. And at first glance, these could seem like a big challenge to identify in winter. 
But one of the keys to know about maples is that they have opposite branching, which means that their branches come off of the trunk and the stems come off of the branches in pairs of two that are immediately opposite each other. This is different from all the other trees that we've looked at, and this is a characteristic of trees that is extremely easy to see in wintertime. There's only one other tree that has opposite branching like maples, and that's the ash tree. So when you see opposite branching on a tree, the only question you need to ask is whether it's a maple or an ash. And to answer this question, all we need to do is look at the buds. The buds of an ash tree are much larger and more obvious. They really stand out on the branch. And to me, they really look unlike the buds of any other tree. They have kind of like a rounded, fuzzy appearance to them. Maple buds are much smaller and blend in a lot more with the branch. They're much less obvious than ash buds. So all of these clues are designed to help you get a really solid start on identifying four of the easiest trees to identify in winter. In a lot of places, these trees are all very common, but it's important to realize that this is just a beginning. This is a way into starting to identify trees more easily through all the seasons. If you really want to get skilled with tree identification, it's important to follow up with these trees in springtime so that you can actually see the transition from winter into spring. You can see how the buds open up, you can see the leaves on the trees, and get to know these trees at all times of year. One of the things that has been extremely helpful for me as I learn about trees is the idea that you don't truly know a tree until you know it in all seasons. So by going out and finding these trees in winter and then following them through the growing season, you'll be able to get to know them in all different conditions so that next winter, when they go dormant again, you will really amaze yourself by how much more easily you can identify these trees. And this is all part of getting to know your forest, getting to know your landscape in a more meaningful way that helps you to appreciate and care for these trees in a deeper way. So if you want to learn more about how to look at trees and understand what they're telling you about the forest, go check out my free video on how to read the secrets of the forest. It'll teach you how to observe patterns in trees that can be used to actually understand your local forest health and wildlife activity, and it's really a lot of fun. So I'll put a link in the description, and if you're interested, you can go check that out. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting. Let me know what questions you have, and I'll see you in the next video.